and cheers. Welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Lauren, and today we're back with cold ones. I've already cracked mine open. Um, and we're uh, they tasted 10,000 years of alcohol. Yeah. So that's where we're at on this one. <laughs> They've tasted 10,000 years of alcohol. I'm looking forward to this. I like all of their videos. And then just so you all remember, we have a little bit of a drinking game with the boys. So when um, they like feed each other, that's the time you take a drink. Um, anytime they touch each other in a way that's like, why'd you do that? You take a drink. Um, if there's any vomiting, you take a drink. And destruction of property, you take a drink. And Markiplier. Those are like the five main ones. If the Markiplier is shown a reference, you take a drink. So that's where we're at. Today on Cold Ones, let us see. Let's see what they're up to. <laughs> People have been doing it since the dawn of time. In today's video, we're going back to explore centuries and centuries of drinking culture. Wonderful. We're checking out the most popular drinks for each millennia over the past gazillions of years. Speaking of gazillions of years, they weren't wearing shrimp shirts gazillions of years ago, so you better get changed. <laughs> oh, 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 Darcy. Oh, good. What's <laughs> okay, oh, that's oh. awesome. They're doing like prop, like they got costumes going on. Okay. We begin before Common Era. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, what does that say? Sorry, I want to see what he said. An appropriate amount of blood force trauma to the front of his skull will likely result in a concussion of what he won't wake from. The drunken monkey theory is the theory that monkeys, birds, and other animals before the beginning of time would eat rotten fruit that had fermented on the forest floor. All right, well, let me take out my caveman retainer. And What's my that made out of? Rock. All right, do you want to eat it like cavemen? I think they would have used their hands. They're not going to eat it like fucking horses out of a trough. They would just pick it out like... Ooh. They probably even make that sound, like Homer Simpson. Ooh. I think they would have known the difference between dirt and berry. Why does it taste like alcohol? <laughs> it's it's fermented. fermented. It's rotten it's and rotten. fermented. Really? Yeah, that's what, that's what happened. Mm, these Again, are... one of the rules, if they eat something, they shouldn't be eaten too. I don't remember if I said that. When I go back to look at it later, to put up the list of rules, I'll add the list back, and this time I'll definitely include when they eat something that shouldn't be eaten, if I forgot to do that before. Pretty good. <laughs> the dirt tastes like cake. Different taste back then. You could eat a leaf as a chaser. Max. You could eat a leaf as a chaser. Oh, okay. I didn't think about that. <laughs> it's just so fucking just foul. There is one holy <laughs> tradition, which is the fermented banana that one unlucky loser will have to consume. I refuse. What is... Is this a trivia question? Cavemen had to be quite crafty with their hunting. I think they just threw rocks at animals and shit. They made bow and arrows out of wood and um, twine. They intersect. And this is a historically accurate... What era? Bow and arrow. Apparently the Nerf gun era. The first caveman from standing behind this line. Or cave woman. Or cave, cave whatever. To shoot the skull off of there. And then the loser has to eat the fermented banana. Ugh. You missed. <laughs> Fuck. This fly is pretty fucking straight. I got a redemption shot because he had an extra one. Banana! It's because he went first, so he's had an extra shot. <laughs> I'm gonna try this, Darcy, but... Uh... I mean, again, again, what, what have we seen over and over and over again? Who always wins the drinking games? Uh... There's no try. There is only dude. Ooh. Oh, That's my That's been on God. the ground for weeks. Darcy, I literally cannot. Not without some alcohol in my system. The, the, if they had alcohol in glasses, they wouldn't have to eat the fucking rotting banana in the first Ugh. place. I'm going to take a bite and see if, see if I can swallow it. Mmm, delicate. I think you mean it. Bunga. I think he ate the banana that makes you freeze. Do you want to know where that banana came from, Chad? No! Where? It was left in my um, climbing bag for three weeks and I opened it up and it pulled the skin out. 
I just I said, don't tell him that. I just put it in tequila last night, Chad. It's fine. <laughs> okay, good. Darcy, you made Chad cry. Who'd you rate that for? Okay, oh, thank you, Darcy. I mean, yeah, props to Darcy for freaking him out, but ugh. Seven? Okay, Darcy, thank you for that. That was, um, <laughs> that was great. I'm going to go into my fucking cave now. Can you come with me? For gay caveman sex. Yes. <laughs> Oh, how long were we in that cave for? <laughs> a long nap. Oh, Long enough God. for his, him to have time to wash his hair. Oh, wow, I actually look really good. That's Maximus to you. You can call me Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. How big was the cross? <laughs> oh, okay, Darcy, where are we and what century are we in? Welcome to 4000 BCE, when Greek viticulture methods were introduced to Sicily where the perfect climate stuck the boom of wine culture the world knows today. What you have in front of you... Georgian wine is older, just saying. In front of you is imported red wine from Sicily, and the era is the Greek era, <laughs> if you can tell. Cheers, Sir Maximus. Mm, that's quite good. Was that an expensive bottle? $300. Wow. Because yeah, it's, it's legit imported Sicilian wine. I actually am not much of a wine drinker, but that's quite water. So, like, I'm just saying, if you really wanted to try wines through history, you should be ha you should have a, a Georgian wine in there because they've been making wine the same way, at least from um, certain, vin certain vineyards. Still make it the same way they did, like, thousands and thousands of years ago. And it's one of the oldest winemaking cultures in the world. Three. <laughs> So I can drink it. Do you hate having five dollars? I'm gonna be honest. This shit fucking sucks. Oh, I know it does. Which is why we American here at Cold Ones bucks. provide a service to take that pesky five dollars out of your hands. Wow. Thanks, Max, from YouTube. This is mine now. I want this. I'm happy with that. But what can I give you in return for taking that $5 off my hands? What if I told you, you don't have to give me anything? And in fact, <laughs> it is me who will be give you... Uh, I will give you a thing. What? <laughs> Once we take that $5, we give you back full access to the Cold Ones Patreon, featuring hours-long uncensored editions of every vid on this channel. Wow. That's over 100 hours of exclusive content if my math is correct. That's just the extended cuts. Don't forget about the other stuff. Other stuff? We also have a Patreon. <laughs> Mostly it's uh, anime, but there's also other like full length movies. There's a couple of other things on there as well. Sometimes early content. Um, and then we also have a members available on the channel itself if anime isn't your thing but you still want to get some early content some extra content that's where that lives what's the other stuff yes we also have 50 episodes of our exclusive sober podcast with new ones dropping weekly peer behind the curtain as we chat about absolute nonsense like this go okay. go go okay yeah so, Wait. um, um. I'm going to be honest, I'm becoming quite scared of the tremendous value that the Cold Ones Patreon is providing here. You should be scared. In fact, you should be terrified because we also do gaming videos. Say what? Mario Party! Cod Zombies! Chain Together! Fortnite! Every week, exclusive to the Patreon. I can't handle this! I cannot handle this right now, okay? Please don't say anything more. And not to mention exclusive dedicated videos and collabs. He's a milky boy. Yeah. You have are taking my five dollars but this level of content is absolutely crazy it is but what are you going to use all these five dollars for well that's the best part we Where's take that? your five dollars and reinvest it into our talented team helping make our videos even better more regular and more sexy hear it from our team themselves i'm griffin and your five dollars pays me to edit there's that banana from earlier there it is but yes also that's what happens here uh -huh. we also use our five dollars to you know i like bought a new desk and it would allow us to buy new microphones and it lets me hire people to do reactions and you know it lets me do the edits i could do more edits i could do more edits to make them funny Hi, he does Roy. a very good your job five dollars helps me buy cigarettes so I can deal with being a producer for these animals. I'm Chad, and your $5 a month supports my gambling addiction. 
Uh, no, actually, maybe we shouldn't say that. So sign up today for just $5 a month and inject our content right into your eyeball. Head to patreon.com slash cold ones and join us now or there will be consequences. Can I get that $5 back? Darcy. Yeah. Ponder our curiosity. <laughs> Give us something entertaining to do, peasant. They decide who has to finish their wine. It's formerly known as Knuckle Bones and now known as oh. Jacks. And it was originally played with Knuckle Bones of dead animals. Throw a handful of ten oh. Knuckle Bones. Yeah. And you have to bounce the ball and grab one. Oh, nope. Grab one, one, one catch bounce. the ball. Bounce the ball again and then pick two and keep going up. Okay. That's a bad spread of knuckle bones. I got this. I was great at jacks. I, I was it. really I good at jacks. I caught it. I caught it. I swear to God, I caught yeah, it. Yeah, that counts. Oh, fuck. You gotta go for a side scoop. Oh! <laughs> I think the way that I used to play, though, is like, I picked, I would pick up each one of them one at a time, then all of them two at a time, then, th you know. I feel like I might have done it that way. Holy. Fuck! I got two. Here goes my knuckle bones. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> None. I'll, I'll let you have a retry. Oh, that's a good knuckle yeah, bone placement. That's a good two grab. Okay, two. Now you gotta get three. Fuck! So we cut. All right, you guys both suck at Things knuckle bone. You wouldn't have stood a chance. You have to both finish table. a drink. Well, I don't mind that. Cheers, Sir Maximus, to the Colosseum. My tummy hurt. There's a grape in mine. Yours is turning back into grapes. <laughs> I finished my wine. <laughs> we will Reverse Jesus. up into the sunset and we will be back. Pull me, peasant. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot how big you were. <laughs> so many Must have needed a big cross. <laughs> <laughs> Are we on a donkey or a sled? We're on a donkey. I'm the donkey. <laughs> I mean, oh, I feel no, you're not the donkey. <laughs> no, we're, you're wearing an outfit. Whoa. Darcy, you got us apples in mud. <laughs> Whoa, you really treat Woo. us. Darcy, what is this? You find yourself in 5000 BCE, where wise South American women would chew and spit corn into a jug till it would ferment and turn into chicha, which is now a banned drink. In a tall glass jar, cloves, cinnamon sticks, pineapple, brown sugar, and lemon juice are boiled with Who corn and fermented it? till it's alcoholic. In the pot, chicha, cordial, and vodka, uh, which is also a different method you can use. That smells good. Oh, that smells really good. Who chewed this one, like though? spit, low-key. Well, I'm going to try the chicha. Is it the same thing? Oh, no, they're two Ooh. different things. So traditionally, it's made with purple corn, which is why the cordial one is purple <laughs> and stylistic. You're just making shit up now. Cool. That is fucking delicious. What the fuck? Where did you get this, Walmart? All right, let's try this one. Oh, bro. Well, oh, I feel like you might have had to make it because it's banned, right? That's that homemade that's shit. That's that homemade shit that Darcy made. Is this... that why when I came here the other day, it smelled like cinnamon? Yeah, Luke brewed it up. This is like some uh, oh. just Kool-Aid type. Yeah. That ain't bad. <laughs> I was not expecting that response. You went, ah, oh, that ain't bad. <laughs> you know, it's like he changed his mind on me. It's like the kombucha lady. It smells like a public restroom. You know what? No. Well. <laughs> you remember her? I mean, I've ordered what? This is alcoholic. If you drink the whole bottle. Okay, that can be the punishment. You remember how traditionally chicha was made, right? Yeah. So the first person to successfully remove every corn kernel from the cob with their teeth and spit it into their bucket and show me a fully clean corn cob. Stop unwrapping. Mine fell off. Is the most efficient chicha maker and the loser has to finish the bottle. He's just saying but, random shit. No, this is how he it was chica. made. Oh, chicha. <laughs> Uh, asked why it was banned. <laughs> oh, yeah, why was it banned? Because that was spitting in all the drinks. <laughs> Three, two, one, corn. Us, 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 oh, us. It's hard to peel a corn. Tell me you never peeled a corn before. Why has it got so many layers? It's like an ogre. Hey, it's not Chad. It's not worth it, is it? Crazy. I'm done. No, he's still going. There's still some corn at the top. How about this, Darcy? When you guys decide you're done, I'll judge who did better. I'm done. All right. 
You done, Max? No, I'll take as much time as I can. Alright. I gotta drink that. That's authentic. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, Chad has two. Okay, wait a minute. Two whole kernels. These are his cobs. These are his cobs. They have kernels on them. Hang on, I'm getting his cobs out. You gotta inspect his cobs. But I took those off and spat them in the bucket. Kernel free cob. Don't put it in mine. I'm gonna eat this corn later. Kernel free cob. <laughs> Chad, you probably touched your spit. I think Max there. wins. His cob is completely. Where cut. have I got kernels on mine? Look at that. There's three whole kernels. Fine, Fuck. I'll take the Could fucking Could you get lost. a close up Dang. of those nodules? Hey, to the 5000 BC guys. Horrible. Shout out to them. Horrid. No thanks. Darcy, you should have put more liquor in that. That's a lot to drink for very little to gain. <sighs> How much alcohol was in that? Probably like four shots worth of vodka. I'm going to see you on the other side. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh I God. guess we better be on our way. Woo! Storm coming. We've overstayed our welcome. The Fortnite storm's coming, Chad! Quick! Four shot. Okay. I'm letting it take. Chad, come on, bro. Fine. I'm jump padding out of here, though. <laughs> you can run. I'm jump padding. <laughs> hey. Viking Doing ages. ages. Simpler, Simpler times. times. What's that from? Nothing. Nothing. Chad was you saying it. You guys just it. made that up? No, Chad was saying it. I just know what he's saying oh. at all times. I'm Chinese. Chinese. N-word. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Darcy. Good job, boys. What is it? Mead. You've got Maxwell's honey mead. Skull. We don't don't actually skull. No, skull just means drink. It doesn't mean finish it. Oh, it doesn't it. mean skull. Yeah, skull means just like drink. Skull is a friendly expression used before drinking, and it shows friendship and championship between Vikings. Championship. Yeah, like as in you guys are champions together. Now, there is a traditional uh. game that Vikings used to play when drinking. Hanu to cast. It is really cool that they're like, that at least on some of them, he, he's making it uh, historically accurate. You know, like this is the games they played. This is what they did. And then they incorporate it into the video. I think that's really fun. They would throw a bone at the other guy. <laughs> and the <laughs> I, We did the caveman one at the start. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the objective was to not flinch and not get hurt. The objective of the other guy was to throw the bone at you as hard as they could to hurt you and make you flinch. This is going to be just me getting the keyboard. You know what? That Reminds me of that reminds me of like the slaps game that we played in like high school where it's like you, you get a whole group of people and you pile your hands on top of each other and then like you have to pull your hand out from under the pile and just slap it down as hard as you can on the <laughs> on the hand of the person at the top uh yeah i definitely made people bleed playing that game we also played the five star we also played five star a lot. Again, slapping and the less less tossing stuff, but slapping. Um, you know, and the goal being to slap someone's back hard enough to leave an imprint of your hand on their back. And the cruelest times we ever did it is if somebody had sunburn. Um, again, this is high school, like and into college, we were playing games <laughs> like this. Um, yeah. Sounds about right. I'm just saying, humanity hasn't changed much, and I cannot even like mock them for. <laughs> it's like, oh, men, because it's like, nah, son. I was very much involved in these games. What? Uh, okay, Darcy, that's really funny. <laughs> Did you stay up all night thinking about that? No, I googled plushy bone, and that thing come up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of an what, accident. Wait, Darcy, what is this from? Super Mario. No, Viking times. Can I close my eyes? <laughs> no, you can't flinch. You don't have a bone anymore. Can you Google what Vikings call? That, that, that was a flinch. flinch. You're not supposed to suck. You have to throw it. No like, sucking out. It's not like it's not a. Oh, that honestly, that was a pass. That for where that hit and the and 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 how out of the blue that was. That is a pass. Failed. Can we clean up the fog, Reese? I forfeit. I can see. Yeah. I can see. Sit. No, I fl ow, ooh, ow, ow, ow. The first hit with that was 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 painful enough. Well, I win. 
How about we drink it together? That might defeat the, the purpose that people are watching it. It gladdens me to know that <laughs> Odin prepares me for a feast. You know, Odin Soon I shall be dying. Uh, that happened ages ago. Okay. Soon I shall be drinking ale from curved horns. A hero comes into Valhalla. This hero comes to Valhalla. What? Valhalla? Uh, this hero comes to Valhalla. Man, doesn't... for a whole second there, I did kind of think he was maybe going to improv a speech, but Brendan Lee Mulligan, he's not. not you know, Odin lame at his death. Okay. This hero comes to Valhalla does not lame at his death. I shall lame enter it. Odin's hall with no fear. Skull! High elves. Go. Destruction. You said earlier it meant sip. But no, but not in this situation. <laughs> oh, you said skull. Yeah, skull. Okay. They call me Odin. Let's go raiding. Let's go raiding. For Valhalla. Yeah. Wait. Say the line. My lady. My lady. <laughs> that was me tipping my hat. Oh, okay. And I love how into it Chad gets. It's so fun. He's just like, he's like, I'm going to commit to every single bit as hard as humanly possible. And I respect him for that. Calvados. And perhaps, what is this? This is, um, well, they didn't make it in men's. <laughs> where, where where are we? Normandy, France. France. So a woman in France wore this fit in the 1500s. A wee wee. <laughs> what do the French say when they cheers? Wee oui, wee. Oui. They say acclamations. Acclamations. I feel like there's what? Or they say santi. Santi. Oh, santi. Oh my santi. god. Acclamation. <laughs> you know the French make fucked up shit. Oh my god. God, that's not even good. Since we're in the era of Shakespeare, Ooh. you'll each have uh, three minutes to write the best poem you can. Oh, oh for fuck! Can sake. it be oh. Shakespeare, or does that have to be your own? I've got, I've got a poem. One second. Okay, so this is a travel haiku I wrote. There are it's two stanzas though. So, flying east, always fleeing the setting sun and chasing the daylight. But the night always comes creeping in, swallowing the tendrils of light. That is my, that is my travel haiku. Then I have one that I wrote for work. Uh, I was really bored at work. I was working at a brunch place. So it's only 1230 time. It seems to crawl. Every time I look up, the clocks moved. Not at all. Those are some of my poems that I've written randomly. <laughs> Freaking bored AF. I have some Game of Thrones ones somewhere, too. Again, they're haikus. Uh, so I'll try. I'll try. I can try and find those at some point. But those are my haikus. Lay your best hi uh, lay your Well, a haiku and a, just a regular poem. So lay your best ones. Lay your best ones on me in the comment. I look forward to reading them. Has oh, to be okay. an original thought, okay. which you might struggle with. Yeah. I'm joking. Rude. No, I'm joking. Rude. <laughs> Three That's time. minutes later. All right. To be gay. <laughs> okay, Chad. Or not to be. That's that is the question. That's not a poem. You read. You... <laughs> Let me finish. Does liking a dude with tits make you gay or straight? These are internal <laughs> monologues. That is the question. <laughs> you heard <Chad>. Abbreviation. <laughs> I would. At Finster, hit me up. <laughs> That's definitely not a poem. But that was not poetic at all. Not I really. need longer to write a poem, but. Well, what do you got? Face Banks. <laughs> <laughs> Hair loss. <laughs> Hair loss was a problem, a problem money could solve. That's it. That's all I got so far. <laughs> okay, I can finish it. That's for not you. a poem I was, either. I was going to workshop some shit in about where That's good. That's a poem. That's a good poem. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, both of those poems suck. Yeah, suck. they do. Who's next? You decide. Chad's was playing. Neither of you win again. You both have to finish the show. Are you that serious? Say a poem right now. Wow, I just saw a bee. That bee 
has a knee. That's not a pawn. That's a rhyme. That's now a I need rap. to pee. That's a rap. And it's a bad one at that. That's how you poem, right? Um, I think Darcy yeah. has to do one of these. Yeah, Darcy has think, to do one as well. Cause I think all of them have to do uh, do one. Although I did do a Shakespeare. We, we, I started a Shakespeare one about the coffee shop. Two mochas, both alike in dignity, in the fair Starbucks where we lay our scene. But then I never got further than that. You couldn't do one either. I fucking just did a poem. So that was a rap. That is triple the size of your Darcy's guy. Is Darcy. Darcy does not look. We drink with Darcy because he's true blue. Darcy's a piss pot through and through. That's a better poem than what you wrote. Yeah, it is. We drink with Darcy. He Still finishes in 10, 9. Oh, sweet, we're done. Ugh. Cheers. That was a good one. A little good improv that he did just there. Toss. Don't we need to do a bit to transition? Well, what kind of transition you got in mind? Impressive. I saw this axe from previous times. Okay, Darcy. Don't break anything. We haven't drunk it yet. We're now in the 1600s. Good point. Where you have to wait until you've drunk it to drink break it. Words. A clean water and milk were in such short supply. That's pretty recent. 1600s? That's only like 423 years ago. That's like 10 years ago. Clean water and milk were in such short supply that barrel-aged ale was the only appropriate thing to cure the thirst. So you're telling me even when they had no clean water and milk, they still found a way to drink? Yes, they did. I'm telling you, that's the solution to, to life. Yeah, I think that's a human fucking, like... Necessity. All well, the water was too dirty, so the next thing was they just had to drink ale. Well, what did they say back in the 1600s? Ale, ale. And what am I? What character am I? Um, you're a guy. Am I on a holy crusade? You're on whatever you want to be on. Can you Google no. when the crusades? Crusades were not in the 1600s. Those are like the 10 hundreds. It's happened. Can you just Google that real quick? 1,095 and 1,291. I'm seeing some plot holes. To Christ, our Lord and Savior. I forgot about the 1200s ones, but I remember the 10 hundreds ones. Cheers. So it's like 1091. Must have needed the big cross. What are we drinking? Ale. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. That's the oh, fuck. most sour fucking beer I've ever had. Oh, that's the shit that'll make you Christian. I kind of like it. Because <laughs> you like sour, right? I kind of like it more than a normal beer. I hope I don't lose the next game. Back in the day in the taverns in the good old 1600s, they would play dice. Oh, so this dice game. game is called Fall Down Dead. He said he wants to fall down yeah, dead. Yeah, we should fucking kill him. One he has <laughs> to you should jump up and put yeah. a little oh, throw him by, grab him, fucking behead him with the axe. Right? Boopy. <laughs> dice? Dice? Laughing. The game goes like... What are you guys plotting? Dice? Why are you standing over there? Darcy Dice? Wait a sec, i got to clean the table. He's not going to stop walking. <laughs> But whoever he sends with the dice, we fucking kill him. What are you guys plotting? I'm stretching. <laughs> You're trying to get your axe so you can fight me, hey? I'm chilling. <laughs> You're just wiping down the table. Oh. Quick, behead him! I've got him, I've got him, I've got him. Behead him, behead him, behead him. Quick, behead him. Oh, behead him. Oh. All right, the way this dice game works is you roll the five dice. Any twos or fives get removed from the pile. Then you add up the score of what's left. So oh. four there. You're telling me math. And then that's the only dice you're allowed to roll again. I'll go first. Go I have no twos or fives. How I have... did this motherfucker roll three sixes? I have six, 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 <laughs> one, four. That's impossible. <laughs> three sixes? I, well, I did it. Three, two, three, six, five. What do I take away? Twos and fives. Two and Pull five. twos and fives away. All right, I got three dice. Though. All right, you're on 35. Go again. Dang, at oh. least Darcy's doing six, the math. Six, three, two, so I take a two away, so I have yeah. six and three. All right, 44. Pretty good. It's not the best I've seen. Okay, I got a one, but I lost a two, so I've only got one dice left. One. All right, 45. Nice one. Four, I'm out. No, no, no. Nope. Twos and fives, four counts, so. Oh, I okay, four. Again. 49. Three. Two. Now you're out. Your turn. All right, Fucking wow. Bullshit. All right, dang. Oh, don't roll them off the table. Dice check. Three, six, seven, eight. What seven. The yeah, there's a seven on there. Seven. No, I'm counting. I'm adding them. Fourteen. He had no twos or fives. Okay. Okay. You got two fives, so they're out. Fuck! Three, four, one. Who the fuck invented so this eight. shit? So eight. He got eight there. Brilliant people. This sounds like fun. Two threes and a four. Twelve. Two sixes and a five. The eight. Five's gone. Forty-four. Six and four. Congratulations. Fifty-four. Yes! 
Dice. I'm telling you, Dang. I removed two dices that were fours because I thought that was the number we had to remove it on. Drink the fucking sour beer. I should have two more dice. Drink rolls. the ale. What did they say back then when you had a drink? Skull. Hail, hail. 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 Wait a minute. Wait, hang on, wait. No, I googled that wrong. You can say slanty. Slanty. He finishes both of them, yeah? New rule? Yeah. Oh, hell no. I like that Max is, like, not drunk. Like, he hasn't drank anything. Chad is like, oh, poor Chad. Hell no. <laughs> What's the percentage on this thing? 11.3%. Whoa. Dang. Aw. You guys should skedaddle. The bar's closed. Okay, how are we getting out of here? I'm throwing. Oh, a... No, they had. They did have legs back then. All right, I'm gonna throw <laughs> the shield up in front of the camera to block the angle. You ready? Three, two, one. Max, pirates! Hurry up, bro! You don't need to look like the fucking queen Shut of England. Shut the fuck up! Chad, 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 Chad. Oh, Chad. fuck! Sorry. One defect with Max is he takes a. Yeah, we get it, bro. You had to. Put a fucking eye patch on. <laughs> ah, fuck a pirate. I should probably kill you, I'm assuming. You are also a pirate. We're, you're saying we're on the same boat? <laughs> I like, he's like, wait a minute. There's no way we're on the same boat. <laughs> look how fancy I am. And look how garbage he is. His fit does not drip, bro. Oh, bro you're I'm the, the captain. You're, you're captain. the captain. He's the deck man. There's no way these. All right, I can fix it. Hang on. Is that better? <laughs> For you or <laughs> swap the deck? R I see ye in ye 1700s, where rum was basically a currency for pirates. They could only acquire the cheapest, nastiest rum, <laughs> so they had to add spices to mask the future taste. Simpler times. So you have spiced rum. Is this a doubloon bag? Which is called pirates' grog. Oh, I've got one of those too. Who this is lots of props. I'm gonna go get mine. I'll show I you. Look, I've got one of those too. And mine is full of various stuff. Open please for me, open sesame. I want to get my coins out. Like, it's got all sorts of fun stuff. Like these ancient coins, I've got like an iron bank. Uh, ingot. I've got like all of these. Oh, look, this one's even got a skull on it. Ah! Don't drop. Look. It's got the skull. Rawr. All of this like random fake currency. Dragon. See? All sorts of fun stuff. I've got all of this. Anyway, just showing off all of my, my junk. <laughs> All of the stuff that I have around the house today. Let's go back to the boys. Okay, let me explain. So, if the crew is unhappy with the captain, there's a mutiny. Shh, it's a mutiny. <laughs> but the, hang on, wait a minute. I'm gonna do a mutiny. Okay, conduct a mutiny uh, right now. Hey, leave? I have all the doubloons. The captain hasn't done shit besides sitting his fucking his like deck. Hands up. Who wants to do fucking mutiny? <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Nobody put their hand up, Chad. You're still the deck, mate. I am the captain now. You'll mop the deck. Okay. Uh, mopping the deck, captain. Yeah, you'll be thrown overboard otherwise. Yeah, I'm mopping it. I'm mop. These are mine. Look at this. <laughs> Those are going to fall through you like... Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Pow. Use the use the tap at the end of the grog, uh, the barrel to fill up your shot glass. So what it's were the nice people that he's only given him shots? This what were the people dressed like that were like the police? No, let me explain. I thought originally I was dressed like a guy so who. So can I explain? Because I actually know this. You don't sound like you know anything. No, for real. The British Empire actually colonized a lot of parts of the world. Okay. So technically, the police were the British. So if you ever saw a dude that was British, probably a cop. Probably. <laughs> the cop. <laughs> but what did the what did the enforcer guys look like who was correct? Max has been the admiral having to lock up Chad the pirate. He's gonna get away if you don't drink the drink and move yeah, on. Yeah, drink the. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so what's the trivia? Oh, the game. Oh, the game. What is Johnny Depp's cock size? The game is to flick the coin into the cup, but you threw all the coins away. Aha! Uh -huh. Fortunately, I'm a pirate. <laughs> oh. No ways keep that motherfucking thing on me. <laughs> oh yeah, boy. So basically, we have to bounce the coin into the cup. No, you gotta bounce off the table like this. Oh. oh. 
That's I easy. Would... I figured it out. It's all trigonometry. <laughs> Boom. Where did you learn that? In the cup. Drink up. If you don't drink rum, I'll take you to the gallows. Make him walk the plank. If I hit the next coin, you gotta walk the plank and do double rum. If I hit this, I'm the captain now. Okay. Wait, double or nothing. So I'm double captain? No, no, no <laughs> double or nothing. Do you drink the rum? Here you go. No, double or nothing. So you drink three times this? Here you go. Triple or nothing. Okay, so you drink four times this. Darcy, you've got second rum. Quadra or nothing. Chad needs a whole keg. Okay. Uh, it's not about drinking. You lost. I hit the first coin. <laughs> <laughs> Double or Drink nothing up. means nothing to a man like No, nah, it means nothing to a pirate. You're a scoundrel. No, scallywag. You're a Can I finish the There's whole thing? There's a coin in it. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. That's a... <laughs> oh, fuck. Did I some seawater or something? Max. Max. <clears throat> a coconut washed up on shore. I've been killed by a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> it this. happened. A bit for me, deckhand. Cheers. There's nothing left. You can't fool me. <laughs> Quick, shot it and do the coconut water chaser. Quick. For me first time. Nah, I'm good, eh? I'll, I've been to the guy I was a deckhand. I will promote you. Nah, I'm good, eh? I'll do one if you do one. There's nothing left. Me bountiful supply of rum you dried up. Darcy, what happened to the rest of this? Yes, the rum is gone. Why is the rum gone? Why is the rum always gone? Oh. That's why. Uh, I... Me bountiful supply of rum you dried up. Darcy, what happened to the rest of this? I don't know. <laughs> it all got put in the barrel. The it's barrel's just... dry! No, it's just because there's no air in the barrel. That's why it's not coming out. The Hang barrel's on. Don't dry. Bro, that looks like when I'm taking a piss. Wait, then... wait. Oh. Chad. Got it. Nice. Yeah. <coughs> Fuck. Chad. Oh, you're fired then. Drink it. Or I will see. No, I won. I won the coin flip. You're the most disloyal fucking pirate <laughs> fucking deckhand ever. That's how pirates work, bro. They're not loyal. Yeah, and I'll have you killed. What do you Mutiny? mean? Mutiny? Anyone? Mutiny? Okay. All right. I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> Come to the coconut water as a chaser. <laughs> oh, nice. All right. Give me more. No, do the next one. Next give one. me more. Darcy, oh, don't give worry, me more. Darcy, don't worry. You <laughs> know, I need your help, bro. Darcy's Hang like, y'all done. <laughs> Ew. Is that enough? Wait, speaking of which. Is that enough? Arr. This is Drinking a things they plan. shouldn't drink. Arrgh! Swab the dank, you scallywag. Swab the dank. Shit! <laughs> 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 Hang on. God damn! Darcy, when and where are we? Woo! The 1800s, America was drinking whiskey like it was water. Your flasks have the whiskey in it if you would like to sneakily take a little sneaky little sip. I have that for later. Uh, <laughs> yes, I don't just usually keep it right next to me. But in the, on the Americans Learns channel, I have promised to take a shot with somebody um, in the latest Fat Electrician video that I'll be putting out. So I have that prepared and ready to go. But I was like, I'm going to do this one first. So I considered buying Uncle Nearest, actually. I looked at it, but like, I didn't really want to spend that kind of because like that was it was kind of expensive at the liquor store i was at like i got this giant i got this giant guy at the liquor store for like 44 dollars and i think that uncle nearest was like the exact same one i think it was like 50 or 60 bucks so i was like i don't want to i i like uncle nearest it's really good i just was feeling cheap today well, who would i be sneaking it from in this well time? from of other course. people that might want to steal that from you but uh, it was cheaper than water but You'll, nice. you'll be frowned upon. Max, I need to cough. <coughs> <coughs> he sounds quite sickly, ma'am. Oh, just a cough. Just a cough. I need to change the gas on my horse over there. Oh, go change the gas. <laughs> is this is this what this looked like back then? Everyone was just turning their backs like, I'm going to go uh, do something. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> he's got it. He's good. Darcy. 
What's the, the game? The game of the 1800s is called Pick Up Sticks. Pick where up you take taking in turns picking up a stick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, Pick Up Sticks are from the 1800s? You know what? That actually fucking tracks. What other what else I was to do? I loved that game as a kid. I was also very good at Pick Up Sticks. Although... My mom likes to play with us, and she did not let us win the bitch. Like, I'm five. <laughs> she was all like, she'd be like, no, no. She, like, mm, that watch. she wouldn't watch us like a hawk to make sure that, like, we was not cheating. And she did not let us win that game. <laughs> Max. So you can't make this shit up. <laughs> Max. Simpler times. No. Like that. Oh, no, I dropped my Wrong. Uh, you Wrong. You dropped the pot. Incorrect. You hold it like a little bunch of flowers like that, and then you let it fall like this. You don't drop them from the table. The hope was that they would end up falling like a little circle, and then you could just kind of pull them apart. All of sticks, and wherever one they second, land. One second, one second. What did you drop down there, ma'am? My, my, no, I got oh, it. Sorry. No, I got it. My pussy fell out. Let me get that <laughs> pussy. Let me get that for you. Let me get <laughs> I got it. It's okay. Take turns picking up sticks, but you can't knock another stick when you pick up a stick. If you do, you skip that turn, and it's the other person's turn. Can I go first? And um, you hold on to whatever sticks you pick can up. Can I go first? See, we just we also played it uh, that you would pick up a st you would pick things up until you moved something. So you might end up in a situation where somebody gets all the sticks. It almost never ever happened that way, but like you might just be waiting for your turn until there's only like three sticks left. Yeah. You nope. move the, you have to put it down, you move the other he sticks. Loses. Oh, no, now it's Max's going. turn. <laughs> oh, I didn't know we could do that. Nice. You can do whatever. Oh, yes. <laughs> you moved a stick. Yeah, you, you mo did you yeah, see, he I moved the stick. See, I he see. moved yeah, the stick. But he started, he moved into right, second turn. play before. True. <laughs> nice. And can I stab and kill Chad with the sticks? This is quite tough. <laughs> Go for this one. Chad, the witch! Got it. Nah, that was good. Also, you could grab two. You could you could use one stick to nudge another aside. And that way, they're no longer tied because your fat fingers couldn't do it, but you could move it with a stick. <gasps> he moved a stick. Did yeah, you see it? Yeah, your turn, your turn. Yeah, that's my pile of sticks. Can you, you look up stick. what is a pile of sticks called? I believe it's a bundle of sticks. <laughs> ah, the plague! It's a witch! It's a Chinese person. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Sorry. But you can't just say there's a Chinese person with that. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold up. Darcy, I'm done with this. Does that mean he loses? Yeah. What does he lose? Oh, I'll take a swig from this. No, finish it after you spilt 99% of it. Bro. A swig, a swig. Nah, a good swig. I want to see a shock us. A shock. That's a I need a shock us. He could have been faking. I need a shock us, Darcy. I need a shot glass. I ain't taking that was a good swig. Fucking fucking. All right, open wide. I'll pour it. Chad's all of a sudden going to have an aneurysm and be stuck pouring it. No, I promise I won't be stuck. They feed each other. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, fucking. Did he exhale fog? <laughs> <laughs> Get him coconut juice stat. You really look like when the wolf took the grandma's place in the red room. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, he does. <laughs> like, man, Grandma got a good rack, huh? No. <laughs> this is going to be a hard one for the editor. But get in the DeLorean. Chad, we didn't even get in. You were just driving. Oh. Uh, How about we just stand up uh, and come back? We'll just cut to the DeLorean. Meanwhile, in the DeLorean, I'm driving here. Uh, hey, Donnie, where we at, huh? One well, of you looks like you're from this era. The other looks like a male stripper. Like. Me, I know. <laughs> I said that earlier. All right, we're back in the DeLorean. You ready? No, we're not. Hey, Donnie, thanks for getting us here safely, huh? Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know, we're at, we're at Big Tom's we're, fucking... Uh... Check this out. Nah, hey. <laughs> yeah, Tony, good Gabba job, go. huh? Gabba go, Tony, huh? Say hello to my fucking blow... My blown up friend. It's in slow motion. Hey, Tony, put, put it, it down. Up. Hey, Tony, Tony, put it down. Tony, put it down, Tony. <laughs> this guy <laughs> fucked your wife. Yeah, mate, Tony, we chill, huh? I'm gay. Welcome to the 1900s. <laughs> hey, Max. 1900s? Simpler times.
Made under the cover of the night by mobsters, moonshine was a high-strength handmade alcohol and America's solution to the prohibition. All right, well, let's try Darcy's moonshine. Why is it in a clay pot like it's actually moonshine? What what rank am I? Bottom. Huh? <laughs> We're both bottom? <laughs> yeah. We're both bottom. Okay, bottoms. it's actually flammable. Ah, ow. Wait, it's hold your finger here. Chad, when he lights something on fire. Hold your finger here. I'm dead serious. Hold There's your finger right fire. there. fire. I'm dead serious. It's flammable. Explain that then. Right, okay. Yes. Right here. Don't use the cigar. Chad, stop! It's not stop. the liquid that's no, the stop. problem. Hold your finger right here. Just I hold, don't know what you think. Hold it right here. Hold it right here. You ready? Ah, you fucker. It's actually lit on fire. Yeah, I believe it, but why do you keep pouring more? See? See? It's Dang. lit up. It's lighting it. That's <laughs> okay, do not breathe that. In. Hey, Tony. <laughs> hey, Tony, give me that. I feel authentic now. Look, what? It's, <laughs> it's on fire. Watch, it's going to melt the Chad, plastic. Chad, I can see it. See, it melt the plastic. Wow. It was blue fire. You ready to play some poker to see who Terrifying. has to drink? Ah, poker. It's just set the office on fire. Great idea. Huh? Tony. What the fuck do you want? If you don't pay <laughs> me out, I'm gonna break your legs, huh, Tony? Hey, Dylan, see an ass spaghetti. Hey, right. whoever gets a flush gonna suck the other guy's cock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got Can that poor guy face, Tony, huh? Yeah, I got to roll the guy up in stop. a carpet at five. Hey, listen, Max, listen. If we just check each other, that means we don't have to do one shot. Both of them, if you. If you match my all in, but if you fold, you just have to do one shot. Does that make sense? No. I'm like no, a Mexican oh, All right, so two, two. You deal two cards each. Two cards each. Okay. I'll check. Can I show my cards like uh, like the cameras on the table, like no. in, in the poker videos, except no. it's like this? Yeah, you can go. I'll close my other thing. You ready? Is that focus, Roy? Reveal three. When it's not a number, I didn't realize I had letters. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Check. I think that I have check. probably the best because of the. Check. I'm all in. If you say you're all in, you show them now. Show one of yours first, cocksucker. I'm all in too. Jack. You motherfucker. <laughs> Come on. What have you got? Two pair. <laughs> you have five. And six. Oh, no, he didn't. I thought he had a, I thought he had a five, two, five, a five. He had nothing. He just had the jacks. Why did you all in on a five and six? Shut up, fucker. Holy shit. Okay, full I have house. a full house. There's no way you can beat me. This looks good. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, that's it. I thought he had a, I thought he had two fives, I think is what I thought he had for a second. For some reason, I forgot. It took me no time at all to forget what he had and to forget was on the table. This shit is 80%. Maybe you shouldn't have two shots. Well, Max, it was a pleasure playing cards with you. But, um... Talk in the accent. Here you are, chap, huh? No, I'm real good playing poker you with you, hey, lad? You're in the mob. I'm Tony. Oh, sorry. Right. Hey, Tony, <laughs> huh? Real good playing cards with you, huh? If you don't fucking send me my money, I'll break your toes, huh? But the time says otherwise, huh? The old wench want me to go home, huh? Yeah, hey, tell you all, Tony, huh? Uh, Tony, huh? Tony, huh? Tony, yeah. Tony, all yeah. Right, crash cut. Bam! We're in the next shot. All right, Max. <laughs> We're here. I'm retired. Congratulations, Max and Chad. You made it back to the 21st century. Oi. Where the drinks up. Finally. 21st century. Simpler times. Can you guess what the drink of the 21st You're century stupid. is? stupid. Prime? No, I'm not. No, it's actually grog. No, I'm not. Wait, wait, I'll, wait. We're <laughs> not in the 21st prime? century. We're at the 22nd century. No, we're not. What's up? We're in the current day. Oi, Max. Current day? 21st century. Simpler times. So you tell me they made this shit in real life. Yeah. Some and where do we find it? Chad, you're telling me I'm having the existential crisis and we're stuck inside a cold ones video. All right, which one do you want? Lemon ice. That's a great flavor. I'm going for the pear. That's my favorite. Wait, 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 wait for me. Wait for me. Sorry, Chad. I'll start okay. again. I'll have Nashi pear. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> I'll have mandarin. Two new great flavors. At grog.shop. Cheers. <sighs> Sorry, I drank it again before cheersing. That is fucking good. Thanks so much for watching. Check out the Patreon to see Chad's vomit stream. It's all brown. I, yeah, no. Can't. I can't. Like, I, for, I do forget that they do have the, uh, the long versions on the uncensored versions where they show them puking and stuff. And I'm like... If y'all have watched any of these before for me, you can't, you know, I can't handle them even making the sounds like <laughs> anyway.
That was fun. I enjoyed that. I hope you did too, including all of my random tangents. And um, <laughs> I went nuts. I had lots of random stuff on this one. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Again, don't forget to leave your poems in the comments below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.